50 years ago today, the Chief Constable of the Royal Ulster Constabulary and his head of Special Branch lied directly to the government about the McGurk's Bar Massacre. On 16th of December 1971, RUC Chief Constable Graham Shillington and Assistant Chief Constable David Johnson, the head of RUC Special Branch, attended a Joint Security Committee meeting at Stormont, the seat of the Northern Irish Government. The Joint Security Committee meeting included the Northern Ireland Prime Minister, Brian Faulkner, who was also leader of the Ulster Unionist Party at that time, and his Minister of State in the Ministry of Home Affairs, John Taylor, who continues to spew his false allegations about the explosion. Fifteen civilians, including two children, were murdered that night, less than two weeks earlier, on 4th of December 1971. The commander of the British Army in Northern Ireland at that time, Lieutenant General Sir Harry Tuzo, was there too, along with the security liaison officer, who was a member of Britain's security service, MI5. The special branch assessment was top of the agenda for the meeting, and it included these lies about our loved ones and the McGurk's Bar Massacre. Circumstantial evidence indicates that this was a premature detonation, and two of those killed were known IRA members, at least one of whom had been associated with bombing activities. Intelligence indicates that the bomb was destined for use elsewhere in the city. These were egregious lies and we now know that the British state and the British Armed Forces knew that within hours. The RUC lies had just helped to protect loyalist mass murderers and cover up the most murderous attack in Belfast since the Nazi Blitz in 1941. We want to know why. We now know too that the origin of these lies can be traced back to collusion between Brigadier Frank Kitson, who was head of 39 Brigade of the British Army in Belfast at that time, and the RUC hours after the explosion and before all of our loved ones were even identified. Brigadier Frank Kitson informed British Army 39 Brigade around four hours after the attack. RUC have a line that the bomb in the pub was a bomb designed to be used elsewhere, left in the pub to be picked up by the provisional IRA. Bomb went off and was a mistake. RUC press office have a line on it, and I should deal with them. We now know too that the British Armed Forces engineered a high level coordinated and sustained plot to deceive not only Stormont government, but also Westminster government in London. Our report into this has resulted in a complaint to the Parliamentary and Health Service Ombudsman against the Cabinet Office. I raised separate requests under the Freedom of Information Act for the provenance of these police lies with Police Service of Northern Ireland and the Ministry of Defence. PSNI says it can neither confirm nor deny it holds this evidence, whilst MOD alleges it does not hold this evidence at all. So it's either buried it or it's blaming RUC. Both organisations are up to their necks in the McGurk's Bar cover-up. So I took complaints against each to the Information Commissioner's Office. On 2nd of December 2021, two days before the 50th anniversary of the McGurk's Bar Massacre, our families protested the Northern Ireland Policing Board due to PSNI's deliberate withholding of this evidence. Chief Constable Simon Byrne was in attendance, but he snubbed us. I challenged Chief Constable Simon Byrne a year ago, and I challenged him again on the 50th anniversary of his predecessor's lies. Either prove the police lies about our loved ones or admit that the police fabricated them and then colluded with Brigadier Frank Kitson and the British Army to cover up the true circumstances of the McGurk's Bar Massacre. It's as simple as that. We have caught the police lying and we have proof from their own files. Chief Constable Byrne can access this evidence immediately as these are police lies that are buried in PSNI archives, but the Chief Constable won't. Half a century after one police Chief Constable lied about our loved ones, Another Chief Constable is helping to perpetuate these police lies as his force is willfully withholding evidence and perverting the course of justice. Chief Constable, prove the police lies or admit the police fabricated them.